Go Max, you're our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Go Max. Uh, uh, go Max. So guys, what's the plan for today? What are we here for? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, a race got cancelled. We were supposed to do uh, an Eaton at 10k this morning. And unfortunately, we got a call yesterday that it got cancelled. So we decided quickly to join together, Alex and me, and uh, that we do a little time trial 10k, or I will try to go for 10k. Alex, you maybe do a bit less, right? Yeah, okay. let's see. Maybe five, seven, or more. We'll see how the body reacts. Yeah, shame, feeling a bit sick. So we come, came a little bit further down from Eton to Moy Ben. It's a little bit lower and quite flat. A little wind today, but it looks good. So let's see. Let's go hard for 10k. For me, it's uh, I want to hit one more 10k at close to race pace uh, before I go 9th of January, my first uh, international uh, running race. I signed up for Valencia. So I have done some big stage racing in triathlon, but never international ones in running. So that will be uh, really exciting for me. Awesome. Do you have any idea of what sort of time you're hoping to get here in the practice run? Uh, today, would, for me, it would be nice to get as close as possible to 30 minutes. That would be good. But let's see how the conditions are with the wind and how I feel. But that would be nice. Max, can you break down the warm-up for me quickly? We will do just now uh, 4K, easy. Then change shoes, get rid of the jackets and uh, do some sprints. And then we will start straight away. 5K this direction, turn around, 5K back. Yeah, the 1k splits. Yeah. So I don't have to watch. But also, with the turnaround, I will not make it like I will see where it's good to turn around. Like if it's a little bit earlier or later, it's not that bad. Because we go, then we go on the way back a little bit longer, like 50 meters or whatever. Yeah, wait, but how does that affect like a time trial? Because surely. Turning around is going to affect the pace and the effort, like having to... I'm already so happy to only have one turnaround. In triathlon, we have to, most of the time those tiny courses. So it's like corner, turnaround and stuff all the time. So one turnaround feels like heaven. These are the same shoes you'll wear at Valencia, huh? Yes. The Cloud Boom Echo, so the racing shoe of one, the one I always wear with.
Nice, man. Thank you. That looked rough. Yeah. Too ambitious in the start. Thank you, Kenya Good. <laughs> <laughs> the first K was crazy. Good job, uh, Badoon. Like, this is nice. To see. <coughs> I think it's faster in the room. <coughs> but you sped up on the second half, huh? It was tailwind on the way back. That was, was really good today. I wanted to be a little bit quicker, but with the wind and everything, it was a good time try. And the goal was to go hard for 10k. And uh, in the beginning, I was a bit too excited, so went out to the first 2k too fast, both a little bit under three minutes. But then I settled into a good pace between three minutes pace and 3.05. So I finished it. 30 minutes and 30 seconds. I think that was good. So the time is also good, but it was more today about really hitting the last 5k when it's getting really hard. So that was good. Awesome. I felt really good the first 2k and then I regretted everything. <laughs> <laughs> But I you're like good in the first 5k, like 15, no? Yeah. 5k was still good, no? Yeah, a little bit slow. Yeah. But after the first 2k, I got like... But then I had a good pace, I always had 3.05, something like this. Yeah, yeah nice. I think the slowest is 3.06. So, yeah. yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, it was good. But also, it, it seems flat, but it goes always up and down. Yeah. The way back is maybe a bit harder. Yeah. I wanted to do 30 flat, but I'm still happy. That's good. Max Naomi asked me to ask the question. What's up with the sticks? <laughs> so a lot of uh, people also did ask me after the first video or on Instagram. So I always run with these sticks. It's, it's not because of the weight. It's more to... My coach gave me the advice to use them. Because otherwise... I'm someone, I move a bit the arms too much, what would be good for 800 meters, was this especially in triathlon where you are tired from the swim and the bike, that on the run I don't use my arms too much, is to remember that I keep them close to the body, so I don't waste any energy uh, while running with the arms and uh, focus on keeping them close. And I do that now for nearly three, wee, uh, three years. So even now, when I go out and run 50 meters and I remember, oh, I forget them, it feels really awkward now to run without them. So at the moment, I do everything. If it's training, racing, whatever, easy runs, I do all the time with the sticks. Yeah, so you would even race like like the triathlons, you have them waiting there to yes. transition. Yes, we have a transition when I put my shoes on, I grab them and then I put them in my hands. So it definitely feels like it helps. Yeah, but it's more, it's like, yeah, it's to remember me, but more subconscious. I not actively think like, sometimes yes, I think like, ah, oh, I have to get my arms closer. But it's also a bit subconsciously that I automatically keep my arms more to the body. Okay. Something I'd like to know is like, is there any emotion attached to them? Like, like I don't know, when you're feeling when you're feeling you need to dig deep, do you grip them tighter? Do you like dig into them with your nails ever? When you're feeling good, do you ever stroke them? Like <laughs> I don't know, that's No, like, most of the times I don't even notice while running. Okay. It's like wearing a, let's say, wearing a watch. Even though I don't grip them hard or something. I, while running, I, it's not that I have to feel, I have to like be conscious that I don't use them. It got now this automatically, that they're always like this in the hands. Yeah. And uh, do you have a backup pair? Yeah, I always carry, because I lost them sometimes, but also, 
I've done some racing where I forgot them at home, but then it's not like that it has to be a special pair. I go quickly to the woods, break two uh, sticks into good uh, sizes, and then I did some races even with, with uh, sticks from the forest. The first time I, I saw him was this, yeah. I think it was in Sierra. In, you had this in Sierra. I have this since three years. So everything I'm doing with, with this. I thought first he was pressing on something or counting the steps. <laughs> time to boost. You know, but it's true when I, I, I see in the car, the, the shoulders are, are really relaxed. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I, I want to try. I can, you know. Everyone will be running with this. Better than carbon. <laughs>